Hello there everybody, Dave McCauley here, and welcome to Let's Play Her Story. Let's press start. Now, I'm not exactly sure what her story is about, but from my understanding, we're working inside of a computer, looking at video logs, trying to figure out what has happened with this crime. You're logged in as authorized guest. This is the Cornerstone application. The logic database. Search terms, murder. Um, we're also working. Holy shit, what the fuck? I don't know if you guys see that, but in the background, with the glare, somebody's there. You see that? There's lips. Lips here. Hair. The head. Yo, that's so crazy. The nose. Somebody, oh my god. This is so creepy. The neck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. So, Southeast Const... Constability? Constability. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff and things. Alright, all this stuff you can read for yourself. Be sure to pause the video if you can't catch up. Or can't keep up. I apologize. So now we know that everything is tagged specifically um, and that we can search by using such tags. Really read me, what the hell? Wow, Y2K is a thing? Y2K is apparently a thing here. Hack.nfo Something hack? And apparently there is a game Mirror tiles. Okay, it's a two player game. So. I think I've seen something like this online. I'm not exactly sure how it's played, but. Yeah. Alright, we got the clock. That's cool. Database checker? At least that's. Oh, I was right, okay. So, can we refresh? Nothing. Alright, so. Move this over a little bit. Move this into frame. So, I guess the first term that we have here is uh, murder. Good old murder. I got my pen and paper here, so I'm ready because I've heard that we have to write down a lot of terms, keywords, all that good stuff. So murder is one of them. Here we go. And we have clips. So we're going to take a good look. 
a gander, take a gander at these uh, video clips and listen to them. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Okay. Um. So I gotta put te I gotta put the pen in my mouth. Murder. Help. Okay. Yeah. That's me. But I pray. That was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Who is Simon? So, uh, put the pen in your mouth, idiot. Mur uh Simon. Who is Simon? Okay, that's one we're gonna have to remember. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Again, murder and Simon. Both going together. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. What? Murder. Weapon, uh, lawyer, huh? I, um, wow, okay, we got we got points of interest here for database points. So she'd like to bring up Simon a lot. Who is Simon? <laughs> Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. So, Simon Glass. He works on glass. Um, Simon is six foot. Darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. <laughs> if his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Okay. Simon. Hair, um, and ah, uh, whatever. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Who's Peter? Peter. Peter Simon drinks. What? Yes, there's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games. You know, Tiny Tower, Save the Princess, that kind of thing. Mario. Ah, oh, okay, so. Again, Simon Games. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. He's not spontaneous. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So, what do we do next? We? I don't know what we do. We're interrogating you. 
All right. Um, let's go with uh, we heard glass. He works with glass. Oh, we got glass. Okay. Here we are. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. That was before, a long time ago. He looks just like the photo. He's not got his glasses on here though. He takes them off with the camera. But he needs them to see properly, you know. He has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not book so much, or watching TV. He likes TV. All right, we have uh, Simon Glass Glasses Tattoo. Um, okay. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror. He didn't wear the glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. So we have mirror. Mi oh, mi oh my God, my paper. Stop screwing up. Mirror, Simon. Look, on his clothes, that would make sense. He made it by hand. I mean, he brushes the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. I mean, he made the mirror, and he gave it to me. Again, mirror. Simon, all that good stuff. No, I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. Co coffee, water, water. Um. All right, so she brought up a mirror. Look that up. Refresh this. My name is Hannah. H A N N A H. Hannah. It's Pamela. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work for merit though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at thirty-one Gladstone Street. All right. So she's Hannah. Hannah, um, mirror. The mirror. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. What? Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. Mirror. Mirror, uh, that's about it. For that one. Silver leaf? No. He normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to pick up their own reflection. Again, just mirror. Um. There's many different things. So we have glasses, tattoo, Hannah. Let, let, let's go with the top. So Hannah. Refresh that. <sighs> Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. What a wonderful girl she is. What are you doing talking about Eve? Eve? We got Eve.
Is that? <laughs> Was she doing Morse code? Whoa, what the hell? So somebody walked in there. Was she doing Morse code? So Eve... Just Eve. And, uh, Simon. Here, I'm gonna save this one, though. Add to session. Because I think that's Morse code that she's doing. And I, I don't know anything about Morse code, personally. But maybe later on I can look that up. What the hell is all this stuff on her? Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh. Shit. Sorry. Yeah. Well, yes. Hannah. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. What? The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. What the hell is going on? The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Is she insane? Is that the whole thing? She's just insane? I don't even know... Hannah? Holy shit. Mm. She recognized me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hit me. They had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. Attic? She hit me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Her place? Uh, so we have Hannah and Attic. Attic is another one of those things that comes up. Uh, going by people, we have Eve. Who's Eve? Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. Oh, she was a sexy girl. You really hate her sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so she didn't like Eve. Eve was very popular, apparently. And a good looking girl. Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once, and I held Eve's head underwater. What? There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach, and I held her head under. Why? And I kept it under. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. My mouth is open. It's so weird. Like, I'm just like awestruck by this. But that was it. It was just a moment. Oh. <laughs> we made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. Oh, it's okay. I really wanted to kill her. But no, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? Not a big deal. It was just a moment in time. A police station. Yeah. When I was young. We ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. What a narc. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up in the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. My parents let me off. Alright, so there we go. We got Eve again. And this last clip. My mother called me Eve. What? Whoa! 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 
serious psychological issues here. So she's Hannah, she's Eve. But she's not really Hannah. Because it sounds like Hannah is another personality that she has. This is so strange. Oh my goodness. Refresh. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Her Story for the PC. Be sure to like if you actually enjoyed the video. Like and or dislike. Be sure to favorite if it was one of your favorite videos. And if you haven't already done so and you like the content that I bring out, be sure to subscribe. I'm Dave McCauley. I'll see you guys next time.